Ada for refusing to get married to the guy my parents chose for me? I am 29 years old, eldest daughter of an Indian family. Since childhood I did what my parents asked me to and whenever I tried to follow my own choices, they always told me how if I made that choice, I would only fail. I had never been interested in relationships and marriage and considered it to be only a part of life so I left the responsibility of looking for a partner for arranged marriage on my parents. I did tell them that the final decision would be mine. The first time they talked to me about this guy, let's call him K, was when they showed me his photograph and told me about his job, salary, and family, and other random stuff. They said that he was earning good but he was on heavy side. I told them that I don't care about his weight, because I used to be obese but then lost weight and was getting better. I told my parents that it is fine, that we both can get fit together and he's earning good and has a good profile so there is not harm in talk to him. But my parents became furious and said that I am a greedy person who would marry anybody for the sake of money. They mocked me and then after a few days, went to meet Kay's family to talk and came back highly impressed by them. Then Kay and I talked but for some reason I started getting negative vibes, like just after talking to him on phone. Something did not felt right and the feeling only grew when I didn't respond to his message because I was busy with work. Just because I did not reply, he had his parents tell my parents that I wasn't interested in him because I did not reply to his message. Within 24 hours of it, a day. Then my mother told me about this and I did reply, he taunted me that what a busy person I am and thanked me for finally replying. I didn't like that and I told my parents the same but they laughed it off. Afterwards, we did communicate through messages but the negative feeling only grew stronger and stronger so I told my parents that I don't want to marry him but they told me to give him a fair chance and meet him in person. I did what they said but after meeting him in person, I could still feel the negative vibes. I told him to give me some time to decide but he told my parents that he was ready for marriage. I tried so hard to convince my parents that I don't want to get married to him because, to be honest, he reminds me of mother. Both of them are very alike. I survived a narcissist mother, I don't want more troubles. Forgive me for my language, but that damn idiot locked himself in his room because they didn't receive a positive reply from my side. And I could see the flashes of future where if I denied him anything in future he would, just like mother, use emotional blackmailing and threaten me with such actions to do what they want. I was forced to go through engagement, my parents threatened me that they would hurt themselves if I said no and everybody forced me to get engaged. And I did. But I couldn't handle it, and I tried to explain my point but my mother threw me out of the house. I talked to Kay and told him that I don't want to get married to him but he said that he would marry me only by will or by force. I talked to his parents but they too said that they will not step back and if they could force me to get engaged, they can do the same to get me married to their son. It's been two years since then but Kay and his family still haven't backed off, they are still in contact with my parents and are continuously pressurizing me to get married to Kay. All this caused my mental, physical, and emotional health to worsen. I gained weight, I have been diagnosed with severe depression, emotional PTSD, anxiety, eating disorder, hypersomnia. And when my parents, especially my mother learned about this, she started calling me crazy. My parents say that I have shamed them, that I am not worthy of anybody's love, that I am not worthy of having a nice husband, that I am a failure, I am a bad person, it's because of me they feel insulted. They say that I am a use and throw material, and that God will punish me. Is it really my fault? I don't know what to do. I am so tired and it hurts.